If the humans can delay that advantage by laning well and getting a lane advantage, wow. maybe it'll be actually become a regular oh, game of Dota. And look at that. The, the, the percentage oh. has just gone up in milliseconds. 80, 90, 95. He changed his mind three times <laughs> in a fraction of a second. That's He's like, a lot of confidence. That was, wow. From OpenAI. But here we go. This is going to be fun indeed, Mr. OpenAI Sniper, as we get into this game one between Team Human and the OpenAI. Oh. They're, they're following the uh, the Midas mode rules, I think. Uh, we're smoking. There it is. So uh, moving across the map here, the, the wind chance it does change a little bit over time. I mean, grabbing a, a first blood would be a really nice advantage. So maybe if they had paid attention to where they expected their opponents to go, they could use that to try to abuse a free kill. Uh, sitting at a, a solid 94% at the moment. Seems to be the number that OpenAI have settled upon. As indeed this, this smoke movement from the humans looking to be unsuccessful as OpenAI already positioning themselves aggressively on the top half of the map, their entire team sticking together almost as if they, they're prepared for this sort of movement. Hmm. Well, they'll just go back to regular laning stage, I guess. This, this looks actually kind of like a pro game, to be honest. Like one team will move into the enemy jungle, the other team will move in the other jungle, and they'll just split bounty runes down the middle of the map. Um, Merlini's going to have to be a little careful here. He is going to spot the enemy team, seeing all three. He knows there's. No way that he'll grab that one successfully without a bad trade. So yeah, so I, I guess actually that's, that's a good point as well to point out what, uh, who's playing what on the side of Team Humans because there was some talk about who's going to be playing which role. We've got Melini on the safe lane. It will be Blitz playing the Shadow Fiend mid. You're going to have Fogged walking around the map on the support. Shaker, Cap as well, supporting on CM and Moon. He'll be down on the bottom playing that third core, the Necrophos. And the Couriers are already moving. Everybody's grabbing them. Running them around, uh, looks like mangoes for people. Still pretty low regen for uh, the humans as well as uh, also the open AI. So maybe taking a page out of their books. Oh, was that a double shrapnel? Oh, stacking, stacking shrapnel! Them. Is this bot TI? Oh, the open AI making a, a, a questionable decision there. Yes, that was not a good move. Let's get in the first last hit. That's huge because if he if he gets enough souls here, it means he's gonna have a massive last hitting advantage against the sniper. And oh. I I honestly was not super impressed with the with the bot last hitting in the previous match. Oh, top lane. They do oh. get themselves the killers. They dive in. They're using cells to ferry. This wouldn't be a, an OD pixel observing without missing first blood. Yeah, that that reminded me of a very famous uh, Merlini clip. Actually, dive into the trees, get the triple kill. Except that didn't happen. You just died. See if they can get as many last hits as possible. So last hitting, denying this is this is what really matters. Uh, in the safe lane, actually, it's a lich, by the way. Oh, this is actually on. a lich core. Oh, okay. So we set the pictures. They're, they're changing it up, open AI. And, and actually, all the heroes on open AI are, are carrying no talismans at the start. Um, the line is, as is the death prophet. So a uh, very bizarre laning stage to start things off. Fogged is going to begin a pull, though. I don't think we saw a pull in other in other matches at all. Yeah, and we'll see how the open AI deals with that. Sort of that, that change in creep equilibrium on, on this top lane. Which is uh, a really good thing to do. A, a typical small camp is going to give you about half of a level. And it seems actually they have no idea what's going on right now. They, they're panicking. Fogs are going to get this they, Where do pull. we go? Where's the creep, Scott? The, yeah, the, what they're are actually, we do? This is the most confused I've they, seen them yet. For I, sure. He didn't do a pull through, though. So I mean, they're not using the old chat now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> They'll wait. They're, there's a body in their time, right? Um, the wave will push because he did a single pull and didn't connect. So in the meantime, Fogged is also going to be setting up a potential gank mid. Uh, level 3 and Shadow Fiend here. He does miss his raise, though. I see how well uh, OpenAI 5 on the sniper is, is able to position himself at the moment, keeping himself close towards the oh, tower. Top lane. Crystal Mane is in trouble. Oh, another dive in. Another hex and another kill. And second one there for OpenAI on this top lane. It's now out for both of the cores. Well, they're that was they're, they're sharing the lane. They're, they're missing 200 health on their Prophet itself. And we are going to see a movement now. OpenAI taking the Death Prophet now down to the bottom lane. So going back to sort of the 2 one twos, which we more commonly see yeah, from, from the pro lane. Moon, Moon wants to go for this kill. He's got to be careful. He's got the double fairy fire, though. This is a common Moon style here. Oh, Ooh, the south, though. He turns. Can he get it? No, he can't. OpenAI take the kill on Moon. He felt confident with the kill, but he wasn't expecting the south mid damage there. So he was the last hit leader in a big oh, way, though. But look, now ago. the humans know that they're down to a 2 1 2, so they have a bit of a, an advantage in terms of numbers on this top lane. They're trying to close the gap, but the Fisher, in fact, from Fogged is stopping Capitalist from being able to close the gap. The stun as well from the Lion, making sure the Cap can't close the gap. So nice wraparound there from OpenAI, holding back the, the disabler that the humans had, making sure that the Jara can keep himself at a safe distance. Shadow Fiend's pulling ahead in a really big way, though. Uh, 14 and 4, so he's slightly beating out the sniper, but. It's just going to get more and more one-sided as time goes on here. Uh, basically, the Sniper has to make sure he just doesn't get double race. That's really where he starts losing his lane. A the bot lane, there. Necro's in trouble. Well, 
He's got the Ghost Shroud, he's got the one charges. And getting those salves out as well. Of course, making the, the best use they can here, these humans, of the fact that they, of course, do also have these five invulnerable couriers. Oh, no. I mean, that must have been a really good trade there for Necro, because he, he healed back up using uh, Ghost Shroud between oh, Wand no. and Salve. Maybe that's one thing he's trying to abuse here. We're actually seeing an open AI hero go all the way back to base. This is like a, f a, f a first for today, I think. That somebody's actually just gone all the way back, or at least ran all the way back to their uh, to their courier. So yeah, it seems like a decent start. Absolutely. I mean, so in busy. terms of kills, as we can see, they have three, but the, the net worth pretty much even at the moment between these two teams. What about the win probability? I was going to say, have they sort of lost their confidence? No, it's actually gone up. It's <laughs> we're all right, good. we're struggling a little bit. We'll put the, we're going to win 98% chance. Oh, the BM smoke here from OpenAI. It does take a trialing to be Moon Meander, apparently. So, you always got to get those jabs in. I was, I was wondering if it'd be fun to take the, the current open AI and just uh, get all the players in the world to just scrim against them. Maybe that's one way to make up the time and see if they can learn some behaviors, maybe, that uh, help them win pub games by trash talking. thought that would be kind of fun. I don't know if they have the, the resources. Top lane. I'm going to attempt here onto the Gyrocopter cap. Uh, you've got the two points in the Nova, but can't quite wait for the cooldown as Salve's already out oh, on the open air, Jared. There's three heroes on him this time. He complained about it, and he's probably going to be a bit annoyed again as it happens. Immediate smoke up as well after they get the kill, so they can look to reposition. Yeah, yeah it just moves them across the map a little bit faster. Moon there was waiting to use his Ghost Shroud, but um, got hexed and didn't get time to pop the Shroud, the Wand, and itself. So he ends up getting picked off there. Yeah, smoke was also potentially to find a... <laughs> potentially to find uh, the, a Bounty Run fight. And Cap gonna go down here. Uh, ben in trouble too. Man, Gyro by himself is actually taking it to these two heroes. Like, they're zoning him, but then he's just kind of coming back and fighting again and getting good Talk trades. Is missing. We have it towards the mid. Fog. He's gonna walk himself into the Lich. Looks for the Fisher. Does manage to trap him there. He nice trap well. indeed. He's setting up here for Blitz to come in. The stun will hold back the SF, so the Razors don't come through. There's a bit of time to salvo, but it's not enough. As Fog there. With a, a, a fantastic setup there with that Fisher trap. Ooh. The question marks come out and deservedly so. So that's one of those things that we haven't really seen the bots do. They haven't abused things like body blocking uh, so much. And it's probably very hard for them to learn it, I imagine. But that, that was effectively, like Fog basically just inconvenienced that Lich for a good 12 seconds or something like that. That's the abuse of Lovo and Fisher. He is going to be sitting behind the Necro though, uh, hoping for a possible rotation. Jarrow shows up in the lane. The missile on some we'll see how hard open now looks to go in. The Fisher does slow down the gyro bit, but it's not enough. As the damage is done with the rocket barrage through the ghost shroud. Another kill for this gyro. As Blitz has picked up an invis rune. Yeah, I, I don't think we've seen too much rune usage at all from the uh, from the bot teams just yet. So this is one place oh well they do have a sentry board. They though. do that, look at this. They see it all, they yeah. let him know, they give the right clicks. He, Blitz knows they've got he, detection down. He wanted to go in on that, but with the allies coming from behind, he would have he would have paid for it. He's pretty farmed though. I mean, he's already got an Aqua Treads. This is like the most items we saw out of human players in the previous matches. So. Already, this this game is so exciting to see because the lanes haven't been a disaster for these humans. Yes. It's coming up to seven minutes in. It's still less than a 1k advantage. So we are going to get the chance to see what OpenAI does when it has you know has to come out of a of a laning stage that's been a close one. I mean, that, that's pretty much what we're seeing. They're doing okay in levels. They're keeping their opponents at least semi. Even yes, they're getting more kills. But it seems like they're lasting fight. Although Razor on top is in a lot of trouble here. He's got to be, be able to, to keep himself in there behind the trees. I mean, Sniper is level 7 already, and Razor's walking around level 4. And he's not that useful as a hero. And usually he wants to have a little bit of a level and uh, gold advantage, but he hasn't even been able to get there yet. Top is missing. You see the, the humans now putting a lot of prioritization on this bottom lane. Four of them down here to look to, to battle with OpenAI. OpenAI will turn. They'll get the stun with the Lion. Moving in for the Rocket Barrage. Bolt gets the Fisher out. He does get healed up. There is a missile inbound. We're going to see the rest of the team continue to try and fight as Bolt will survive. Blitz turns for the raises. Gets the kill. The Assassinate coming through with the Blast. The bounces. It's enough. That's going to be the SF gone. Mid no. Cap to fall as well. Malini has turned up, but it's a little too late. The humans, they've already that down two heroes here. He's got to retreat. Moon trying to get to the center, but all he still has the Reaper side available. Lays it down as Lich will get the kill, but he still ends up falling. As OpenAI will come out on top, but a very, very close team fight there between the two sides as everybody sending their lineups straight down towards the bottom lane. Looks like we, we do have a pause. Hopefully this won't confuse the OpenAI.
creeps aggro you, and then you know if there's a, sh uh, a, a sentry there. And if you do that and they don't, maybe he'll get an easy Requiem kill on a big core. That could be huge for sure. changing the tempo of the whole game. Like, and that's what works so well in low-level pubs usually, or even any pub. You get a Shadow Blade and you kill heroes, and it just pushes you in a big advantage. So if they can get stuff like that, it, it could make a big difference. Well, we're back into the game, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like we have managed to sort out the tech issues and get this game back and underway. Open AI bringing their Radiant members back down towards this bottom lane. Quick on the ultimates back online, 30 seconds for the Chain Frost. Just sending out some warning shots here onto Capitalist. Quick assassinate onto Crystal Maiden. And it's just sort of it's leaving the mid lane free, so Fogged on the Shaker is able to pick up some good levels and start to get a bit of that farm and they can work towards those, those key crucial Zombie items on the Earth Shaker like the Blink Dagger. But the pushing is coming, and this is where things get scary. Sniper's level 8, he's got a phase boot, so he's high damage, high nuke, and he's just gonna keep assassinating Crystal Maiden. But the salves are already prepped here. Sam's gotta be careful. He's gone! Cap's gone there with the assassinates and the flat cannons. He was not ready there. And that's all it took, a couple flak and a second assassin. He was thinking he could heal through that, but he got bursted. Merlin, he's in trouble too. He is, he's getting chased, he's getting dove. The Chain Frost being bounced between them perfectly as open AI. Take down both Malini and Moon Meander. And they're onto the tier one tower, pushing in. Same time up top, looks like we have the DP chasing Blitz around. He's gonna pop this out, he's got the DD. Maybe he could try and outplay the bot here. They've got the Fisher as well with the DD. They're gonna be able to do with it. Blitz and Fog. Catching out the Death Prophet, still the bottom tier one tower in trouble, will go down. Well, they can push themselves. Blitz can go in the mid lane. SF is amazing at pushing as a solo hero. Spend a little mana. And Cap, a little bit too far on the front lines as he instantly gets disabled by the Lion. Burst down by the assassinate of the Sniper. Oh, Earthshaker being harassed on the mid lane by the Lich. A little bizarre here, but... Yeah, the DDs and, and Rune so far have absolutely been impactful. Uh, Blitz is going to shift to the top lane, grab a double set of bounties so they'll go even there. Necro's keeping um, uh, the creep wave top static. So they do get the tier one tower, but that looked more standard, like a, like a typical pro engagement. For sure. Group, take the tower, and then go back to being efficient on the map. So it definitely, this uh, the, the strategy of this game definitely seems a little different than the previous. I, I, I mean, I was going to say, in terms of the previous, we've got to compare the fact that 10 minutes in, in the, the first game we saw today, OpenAI were already taking barracks. So already we are seeing how well Team Human are able to sort of push open AI to the limits in this early stage of the game. Yep. Now, I think the, the biggest thing that's hurting Team Human right now is, is the Razor. His laning stage was poor. Oh, initiation here. In, I think that was an Invis rune, actually. Yeah. He's Easily able to close the gap there onto Fog. Nicely done by uh, Line there, uh, initiating for the kill. The top lane. I can see Moon get gone upon. Naomi missile stun. Another kill for open AI. It's, it's just really tough to play Necro against these heroes, against Gyro and Death Prophet. They have all this magic damage, so if you do use your Ghost Shroud, you're still going to take a bunch of damage. So you, you just can't survive here. They're going on CM again. All right, just harass. Just some simple harass. It's a 100 second cooldown. Worth it, I guess. He's going to heal up a bit. He's slowing down the push, but... He's got to be careful, Cap. I mean, Cap does have backup. There's the Fisher out onto two on the side, though Malini getting focused by the line of the Sniper. Ooh. Fogged, he's getting trapped in there. Trap, oh, open no. AI, trapping the humans, taking down three of them. As they come in with the Ghost Wraparound from the Death Prophet, there's no escape for them there. I think Blitz is doing the right thing here, ditching his team. I mean, this is like, this is how he gains MMR. He, he plays these solo heroes. And he's got that Shadow Amulet, you know, the classic. He sees his allies getting initiated on those. That's not going to work. So he goes off and he farms, and then he gets the big item that's going to allow him to actually affect the game. Which, once he finishes the SB, he's going to start blowing heroes up. And remember, that there's a lot of consumable items being purchased by these open AI, AI bots. That means that... When he does get a Shadow Blade online, they barely have anything. This line just finishes Brown Boots. He's going to get, like, two shot here. His reaction time should be good, but... Oh, this could be Blitzstein, though. This would be so bad for oh. their team. The Dust? They've got the Dust. Oh, they're found him. But still, they've got the AoE to burst in. Blitz is gone for 30. Malini trying to lead forward onto the line. Line is out of mana. Cap getting right click down here by the Lich. Same time, they'll go for the cooldown. They've managed to find Malini. Fog no. desperately wanting this sniper, but open AI, they juke him out. Turn around, he's ready to turn and punch back as Fog will fall. Can't get the Fisher out. Open AI laughs in his face. As Sniper 1, 0, and 13 still yet to die this game. Man, they're getting so close every moment, but they just couldn't quite pull it out there. Great jukes by the enemy team. Um, I think the Dust even missed on Blitz there. He, he maybe could have just rode that one out like, uh, like somebody that gave up on the game, but at least until the enemies left. But it seems like every opportunity available, OpenAI is going to throw nukes on their opponents. 
So they can't even like show in the lane to slow. I don't even know if it's beneficial for them to be here to try to slow this down. I mean, it's absolutely as you say. We are never seeing OpenAI sort of sitting around with full mana. They're, they're, they're always spamming out anyone that comes in range. They know the value of just keeping the opponent slow at any sort of cost. So they have nuked the creep wave here. This is basically what they need to do. A fissure. Oh, they're in trouble now. They're straight in with the burst. Bellini will put the one charge. It's not enough to keep him alive. The flat cannon finishes him off. Cap gets caught out from the stun as well. There's a double kill for OpenAI's Gyro. Allowing them to move in onto this tier 2 tower. They will put the fortification. Another BM smoke. The fissure. Does manage to do quite a bit of damage, but still, they haven't quite got that jump to get in and finish off OpenAI. As Jaro able to safely disengage, TP's back towards base. The rest of OpenAI claim the tier two tower and already they're moving on to other lanes. I mean, their confidence level basically can't go up at this point, so I, I don't think they're too upset with how this game is going, but it's a 5k advantage, 24 to four now. And they just feel, uh, it just feels like there's a couple of heroes that are really hard to, to activate in this game. The Necro is kind of hard to activate because other people have to be low. And it's so hard for, for Merlini to get in this game on Razor. This is not a hero that catches up well. He can't push waves super easily and rapidly. He's got a long cooldown on his nuke. He's just kind of limited. He needs like a solo lane to grab free farm, to grab levels, to grab items. But normally he's supposed to snowball off of like controlling other heroes and limiting what they get. But he hasn't been able to do that this game. So he's basically playing support at this point. Kind of uh, aimless movement by open eye. This is the first time I've seen them jungle actually on Sniper. Uh, it's not very common for them to, to sit back like this. Yeah, yet to move on to their next target. Still tier twos in both the mid lane and top lane for the taking. It's bottom lane Blitz trying to, to sort of chase down this Lich, but it's, it's, an, it's a level 11 Lich. Bog. Let's try for the Fisher setup. Blitz still with a bit of time left for the Shadow Blade. Looks for the wraparound. They've got the burst, they've got the kill. Yes. There's a Lich, but you've got to remember, this is a Lich that was being prioritized by OpenAI. It has sort of, interestingly enough, fallen down to, to being the second lowest in the team, so sort of back to that support capacity, despite being given the uh, the solo lane at the start. Yeah. Well, they're, they're committing to pushing now. And now, I think uh, the humans are in a bit of a weird place. They know that they should defend, but their opponents are so good at pushing now that they can't even, like, split push in the meantime. I mean, the humans know that the gyro TP bottom, so maybe they can look to try and do something here. They try with the Fisher, but straight away turning with the Mask of Madness and the Sniper going into Fog. Doesn't quite finish him off, turns towards a bigger target. Looks towards Malini, will find him. Cap tries to leave forward, Blitz has the Requiem. Can he finish the kill? He can. They get the Sniper, Cap Blitz get another. He does it, the Requiem, it okay. does! Will get the kill, it costs them many lives though, Team Human. And they do lose three, oh. but they are able to take down two of OpenAI's cores. With that said, that was a pretty good trade there for the humans. They get about a 500 gold advantage and about 700 extra experience. So I'm considering they're behind it. That's all right. Because when they come back up, like the value of a Shadow Blade is just so much here against bots. I just, I, I'm, I find it, I feel like a human is going to be able to abuse Shadow Blade much better than a bot would be machine learning at this point, I guess, is my, my assumption. My assumption is that they're so good at team fighting and pushing, but are they going to know how to abuse Shadow Blade pressure around the map. I feel like they're not going to be able to do that as well. I'm going to see down bottom. Open AI having both the Jara and Lion stunning the front. They are going to have the rest of the team moving in. So again, Open AI pulling back to, to this full come. five man that they want to prioritize pushing this bottom lane. Every time he comes forward, they throw the missile, they throw the, the assassinate, and they get him low. He's, I mean, this guy needs a Tranquil Boot so bad, but he just can't get it. Oh. And now they're moving in. They get Cap. Cap will fall again. And they do to stop this Hex and Stun coming out onto Fog. They're keeping him held at the sideline. Fog trying to back up with a finger. Oh, from maximum range there from the Lion. will burst him down. They have managed to claim Sniper's Blitz came in from the side, was able to burst him, but they're moving in for more with the cooldown onto Moon. Moon, he gets stunned up, disabled, Necrophos is gone. Buybacks now to come out from Team Humans. They'll buy back on Moon Meander, and OpenAI immediately respecting that, backing up. Yeah, I mean, they're all pretty low, and they're out of regen. They don't have any more in their inventory. Razor's approaching, he wants to take this fight, but he's so scared. He's doing Blitz. what he can. Oh, oh, he gets silenced immediately. No. Can't get the Requiem off. Instant silence okay. there from the Death Prophet. The sentry caught him. They caught him briefly, and that's why they reacted so fast. 
So that loses his, uh, his Shadow Blade cooldown for this moment, but so far the, the, the strategy seems pretty similar. Come in, nuke your opponents, try to get them on to go on one of your tanky guys, and then let your, your real damage dealers come in the back line. Um, and try to clean up. And that's what Blitz did successfully in that last fight. He jumps and he kills the sniper. That's the guy that does by far the most damage. It that's the best the tower damage. Exactly. Stops the push and gives him gold. So we'll see where they go from here. Uh, Capitalist still buying uh, Observer Ward stuff. Merlini's still trying to get as tanky as possible. They've also got a Veil on Necrophos. This is a really nice pickup here. So amplify all the magic damage they deal. And they are pretty magic heavy. And we're very close to a blink on Earthshaker, actually. He's at 2,000. 100 gold. Oh, we could see some big slam players indeed coming out from Fog. Because of the way that OpenAI players we've seen, how will they react to this? Because at the moment, a lot of the times, they are fairly grouped up OpenAI. There is potential for big Echo Slams to come into play. But it, in other matches, it does seem like they spread out okay. But the important thing is keeping them at this choke point. You don't want them to get past the, past the opening. You can engage them outside to be a lot better. Look how spread out they are. Death Prophet all the way on the one side. Seemingly by herself, but I mean with Yule, she could defend herself. But she's a hard pickup. They see the ward now. I don't, I don't know if it's gonna last. Free wave is dead, so they're gonna have to take the tower at least. Fog tries to finish, but he instant hex! He instantly gets hex there! By the line, he will get oh, the he echo slam out! And they're two down on the team humans on the front. The Death Prophet standing strong as four dead. They'll look for the Thnif. He'll try with the Reaper Scythe Moon, but it's not enough damage. Triple kill for the Gyros. Open AI wipe them with the quick Hex reactions there of Lion. Yeah, the Hex absolutely did everything there. If that Echo Slam comes out earlier, it's we're talking about two minimum stuns from the Earthshaker. And then with that, with that combo, they can follow up on that while those heroes are stunned. But delaying that for so long, just meant that they lost the team fight instantly. Everybody's dead. Rax is gone. I, I like the opportunity. I like what he did. He fissured first. That's like one way to to, to cover your echo slam. That was the but safest that way to initiate. prepared the lion. Maybe, but it, it didn't catch the line with the stun. Because if you fissure first, you fissure no matter what. They can't see you. And as soon as you blink and you cast echo, your typical person is never going to react that time. But that was a huge initiation. Great hex. The, the first set of racks taken 20 minutes in. Dyer's Not sort of unheard early, but it's still early. And now outside of the base, Malini. See a bit of spam here from the Crypt Swarm. Assassinate quickly forces him to have to back up back to the fountain. As OpenAI now move their proceeds towards the middle lane, take the tier 2 tower, and are getting ready to set themselves up for another siege attempt at Team Human's base. Can they defend this time? They don't have Echo Sam, 60 seconds on that one. They've got no BKB on Blitz just yet. If he gets that, he can maybe take a fight at least. But there's a lot of big items on OpenAI 5 right now. SNY on the gyro with his drums. They've got a lot of good things. Ready, they do get the Fisher. Blitz, trying to see if he can maybe set up for the Red Grim. They'll jump in again! Fog instantly gets hexed by oh, no, the Lion! Blitz now getting focused, the Assassinate bringing him low, there's the Blast from the Lich to finish him off. Four dead on Team Human as OpenAI open the base up for a second set of racks and GG will be called 21 minutes in into this benchmark. OpenAI will take game one. I, I mean, that wasn't that bad. Uh, 20 minute game for their second racks. They were very close to defending. I think they had the things that they needed to defend the bot racks, but, but there was just a couple big weights.